up guys it's Ty here and today the best promo the best day in Madden is today the release of the ultimate freeze promo everybody's favorite promo hands down is the Christmas slash ultimate freeze promo if, any, if you guys don't agree tell me what your favorite promo is in the comments below but all, mine obviously is the Christmas promo and did it this point I'm gonna tell you guys right now right now that what I'm seeing I'm liking it there's a few things I'm not liking, but there's a few things I'm liking a lot. So let me go through and break down everything. I'm going to tell you what I like and dislike. You know, kind of like the pros and cons. So, yeah. All right, so first thing, first, first order of business, ghost cards have made its return. I'll show you guys them in a sec, but let's just go. Well, we don't have to go in order. We'll just, you know, kind of skip around. Look at the Mudhead page right now. Let's we'll skip ahead. Obviously, guys, you can, in objectives right here, they give you 10 objectives. If you complete all of these, you will get each of them you get a frozen item i'll show you guys what that means in a sec complete all these you get all 10 of those and then a frost pack which is a 50k pack you get three frozen items so it's a pretty good deal so the frozen moments collectibles they're going to be used in every set so you can earn them through those objectives you can find them in packs of course and head-to-head -head seasons so you have to place more head-to-head seasons and the solos so let me show you the solos i already did them that's the only thing i'm really done with the ultimate freeze i'm liking the logo it's new Again, guys, Mad 15 is my favorite promo. Though, but seriously, the Arctic Offense. So that was eight solo challenges. You got a couple things. And the final thing, you got a gold uh, out of position player. I'll show you guys those cards, too. This is an amazing promo so far, guys. So I'm going to guess tomorrow, they're going to release the, the uh, Arctic Defense, I'd assume. And hopefully, it's eight apiece. Hopefully, they don't stop at 16. If they stop at 16, I will be very upset. Because last year they would they would put more solos in each day they'd add solos like all the way up to Christmas and a little bit after, that was amazing. It was so much fun. Everybody loved that idea, and by God I like it too. So hopefully they do that again and they don't fuck this up. Because we obviously our defense will be coming out tomorrow I'm assuming, but they cannot screw this promo up. This is the best promo if they want. Madden to be great again. This is what they got to get right. So yeah, Arctic offense is pretty easy solos, guys. It'll take about mm, 45 minutes to take out. So there's a couple solos here. But um, yeah. So the frozen moments, I'll show you guys those real quick. And also, I'll open a couple packs for you guys. Like I'll show you the guys the frozen moments. Um, they're gonna be used for basically most, almost every set. Some require like any of them, but then some also require all of them. So just be aware of that. And here we go. The ultimate freeze promo. My, one of my favorite fucking things are the gifts. Gifts have returned, everybody. Everybody can be safe. I haven't seen any of the gifts yet. They're not auctionable or tradable. They should not be auctionable, but they should be tradable. You should be able to trade them. But this way, this way, right, if you don't know what the... I like it, actually. So say it does get leaked, right? You can't auction. You can't trade them, right? So then say it did get leaked. You knew what you were getting. You know, you wouldn't be able... And you don't know what number it is. So if you don't know the number... You, you know, it's kind of like a, you can't get rid of it. So you, whatever you got, you got. You can quick sell it. That'd be dumb. So I guess that, that kind of, you know, makes up for it. So that's good. So if anything gets leaked, there you go. But I'd rather not have it leaked because frozen gifts are the best thing. In exchange, you can have three of those moments and a gift if you don't like the one you have. I think it's not, not a scam, but yeah. But here we go, folks. The Ghost of Madden passed the master. So let me show you guys right here. Here and you need like here here are all ten of the collectibles, right? Got the tuck roll, obviously you guys know what happened there. But uh Tom Brady, you know, I actually don't know much about it, but you guys know. Then the ice bowl, obviously, we all know that. What is that? Oh eight the divisional championship game, I actually don't remember that. Super Bowl Snow Snowball two thousand thirteen, that's the Megatron you got his uh all that snow space, snow I actually have no idea. Philly Blizzard, no idea. <laughs> the uh, Bronco Blizzard, no idea. Snowball, no idea. Thanksgiving Classic, I do know that. And then the Freezer Bowl, no idea. So then here, and I also have to have five Ghosts of Madden Pass cards. And I will show you guys the, the Ghosts of Madden Pass cards. And uh, yeah, a little bit of information about the Frozen Gifts right here. Yeah, obviously you have to unwrap them. They come out, I'm pretty sure that you can only earn uh, the Gifts this weekend. So today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And then Christmas Day. I don't know how I feel about that. On, in my, actually, tomorrow I'm going to go um, get in shopping and my girlfriend... Um, Give my girlfriend some of her gifts for our anniversary. You guys have to guess what I don't know. So matter if you're watching, I'm doing that tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm probably gonna pick up a nice PSN. You know, open about four frost packs. You know, I want to get some collectibles. I want to get presents because I, I'm trying to get over three mil. Once I get over three mil, I'm gonna buy my team. And all oh, you guys, are gonna, I'm so hyped to show you guys the cards. It's gonna be a long video, guys. So bear with me. And uh, here we go. You <laughs> need a Ghost Madden pass. Any of them. You need 
50 of these shits. You have to open a lot of packs to get this, guys. A lot of packs. We gotta win a bunch of games. But also, guys, you have the exchange set for the gifts. And, um, yeah, they'll open throughout the year, you know? They're, they're not auction or tradable. That's the only way. Wait, what's the only way? Yeah, the only way you can swap gifts is through the exchange. So, yeah, that's a different thing. And the out-of-position mass right here is a 95 wide receiver, Deion Sanders. And here are all the really good out-of-position cards. I'll show you guys these real quickly, but we got a Paul... Paul Krause, 92 overall, Tyrone Matthew, up there, I'll just go, I'll go through one at a time, the Paul Cruz wide receiver card, it's probably a beast, I don't like the card art, I like how it's old fashioned, but I don't like it's in color, I don't like this, it just looks kind of weird, and he's got chain mover nights, he's got 90 speed, he's got 6'3 six, six, though, yeah, but he's a decent card, if you guys like Paul Krause, and uh, Tyree Matthews is probably going to be the probably one of the best cards out of all of them right here. And again, guys, you have to collect all. He's going for 200k right now. Hopefully, we can pull him in a pack right here. His cornerback card, he's only 5'9". Big, big, big problem with only 88 speed. So, he's really not that good, guys. I would recommend not having this card at all, in my opinion. And then... Big boy Ben Roethlisberger right here, folks. So ben Roethlisberger punter. He's going for 200K. If you guys want to have a good punter right here, he's not got the kick power and kick accuracy, but he's got the throw power, and that's all that really matters. Fake punt. So you know if that person's got Ben Roethlisberger, it's going to be fake punts galore. Don Terry Poe, fullback. Now I'm pissed, right? Last year, guys, 100 run blocking. 100 run blocking. What's he have this year? 88. 88 run blocking this year. I'm pissed. I'm 93 trucking, but 88 run blocking. It's I'm pissed. It was 100 last year. I, I was the best thing ever. And I had that as my fullback for a long time. This Landon Collins right here is probably... Actually, this might be the best card. Uh, a lot of these cards are going for like 200 carry out. The good cards with 89 speed, 94 hit power, 88 block training. He's probably not the best um, with power moves, but his finesse moves. What are his finesse moves? Please be good. Where is finesse moves? 90. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. But, I mean, I use him on my left outside linebacker, so he'd be a user monster for me. And here we go. The best card ever. Tight end, Donald Poe. Just looking for 94 camps for Clickwood right now. He's got like eight of these, right? Because he loves this Don Terry Poe. Only 74 speed, but 87 run block on this beast with 90 catching traffic. And he's just funny as hell. He's a big fat dude running catching passes. Who doesn't love themselves a tight end, Donald Penn? Got a defensive tackle, Kyle Long, right here. Kyle Long's kind of, uh, he's not, he's pretty fast, but he's kind of small. He's like, he's 6'6", but he's like small. So yeah, he's only got like 88 block shedding. Like, he doesn't have the best block shedding, but he's a pretty fast defensive tackle. You guys like Kyle Long, there you go, right there. There's a few more. I mean, I think these are all the elite, uh, out of position players. I'll show you guys some of the gold ones, because there are some good golds. Right here, 89, Tavon Austin. It's a beast of a card. 93 speed, 94 agility, only 86 carrying. That's all right. You won't really want to take hits with Tavon Austin. He's got a bunch of 94 everything's, basically. He's a pretty good card if you like a catching running back, which I do. That might be a card I might pick up. Here we go. We have 89, Shaq Thompson. This is a cheap beast. He is, wow, 50K, guys. I, I might pick him up here. Look at it. Okay, 87 speed. Got 86 man. He's like... I mean, I thought he was okay, a little better than I, I thought he was a little better than I thought, but <laughs> that's fine, though. But I remember, I know Shaq Thompson, when, I didn't know he, um, he played strong safety. I actually knew that. He came out of Washington as a strong safety, and now he's a linebacker, but I like that. Oh, here we go right here, folks. Quarterback, Doug Baldwin. I don't know why there's not a Russell Wilson wide receiver. Don't ask. I mean, I wish there was. That should always be a card. But uh, he only has 85 throw power. But he's actually got good uh, mid-range and great speed, obviously. So he's going to be, if you get yourself a Doug Ball when he's only there for read option purposes, in my opinion. And uh, 88, Eric Ebron from the right end. I actually don't know. I actually did not know he played right end. But he's actually looking like a pretty nice right end. He's got 87 speed coming off the edge, 91 finesse moves. Only 79 block shedding, but 91 finesse moves, 87 speed off a of 4-3 defense. That's, that's pretty good, man. That's, a, that's pretty good. I mean, that's a card I might pick up. But again, guys, let's look at that 95 Dion guy. I'll show you that. And all, and all the, that jazz. And I'll show you guys the uh, ghost, of, ghost of Madden Pass. Right here, we got an 87 Ryan Tannehill. I have no idea when he was a wide receiver. I think it might have been this year. 92 spec catch on this damn Ryan Tannehill. I mean, that's okay. Only 82, uh, only 87 speed and 82 route running, though. But you know what? We can live with that. 87 Keenan Allen right here, folks. That is going to be a good card. He's 6'2", I'm pretty sure. So 6-2 is a pretty good, a pretty tall free safety. He's got 88 speed, he got 86 zone coverage, only 72 hit power. I mean, decent card. But there is another wide receiver turned safety that is a fucking beast. It's not Julio, but I'll show you. We got ourselves a Jason Peters tight end as well. So if you can't afford your Donald Penn, you can always just go for a Jason Peters. He's got 72 speed. He's got better run blocking, actually. So he actually might be a better card right here. So if you like yourself a blocking tight end, 
got by God, get yourself a Jason Peters or if you want Donald Pendycap. And the kicker, Tim Hightower. I don't know. If you guys know when Tim Hightower was a kicker, let me know. But I have literally have no idea when this was. He's only got 84 kick power, but he's got 86 speed. So the only the only util utilization for him is if you do a fake field goal run, he'd actually be very good at this. So if you like, you know, faking your field goals, by God, get yourself a Tim Hightower. Probably throws a little bit too. And I'm pretty sure those are all the elites. Yeah, this I think those are all. Yep, that is all the elite out of position players. I'll show you guys. I guess if you guys want to see some of the golds, we can. But now I will get to the. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Here's the to get out of position player, a gold or better. You got to put six of this frozen moments in, so that should be pretty easy to get. Out of position upgrade, you know, ten gold players to get one elite player. So I mean, I don't know how hard that's going to be really. Some ultimate freeze unis though, with the ultimate freeze chems. I think that's it though. It's actually kind of nice. Like they got like the frozen look on them. I don't know what team that is, but that's like pretty fresh. And then the ultimate freeze stadium. So I see that's the Titans logo. It's indoor. It looks like draft draft champions logo with the Titans like or the stadium with the Titans on it. I mean, I'm not sure, guys. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna get to the cards like the ghost of Madden past and all that. You know, that's my favorite part. That and gifts. I can't show you guys any of the gifts, but now we'll get to that and then we'll start opening some of those packs. So I will see you then. And here we have some of the gold out of position players. We have like a a Taiwan Jones right here. Which actually is not a very bad card at all. The catching's a little bit bad, but you know, 91 speed and the decent coverages. Uh, Tony Lippett, I thought he played wide receiver. Is he a corner? He must be a cornerback. But uh, he's terrible route running, not a guard. Got a TJ Clemens right there. Where is the person I'm most excited for? Oh, a Barry Church right outside linebacker could be a decent user card. What is his speed? 85. Yeah, that's a pretty good user card right there. Decent zone. TJ Clemens, though. Uh, this is the, uh, yeah, a Sean Robinson. I guess he played right tackle for Alabama, I guess, a little bit. I'm assuming. Got ourselves a big Bo Allen fullback. I'll see his stats real quick. 69 speed, 84 run block, and uh, Dante Terry Poe is way better. Got ourselves an Eric Reed middle linebacker. This would be a good card. 88 speed, 86 zone coverage. Pretty beast user right there. Or if you want to keep him 92 hit power as well. Or if you keep him, like, you know, in coverage himself. Here's the card I'm most excited for. The gold card, at least. Braxton fucking Miller quarterback card. A Braxton Miller quarterback card. Guys, my Ohio State team, it can happen now. I have a Braxton Miller. I have a freaking Ohio State quarterback. It's not, you know, Cardell Jones. I have Braxton Miller now. I'm so happy. Look at these stats. Not the best. I'm supposed to be, but it's something. 88 speed, though. That's pretty fucking lit. Braxton Miller getting some love, and I'm loving it. I'm just telling you guys right now. Uh, we got Ty Montgomery. That was, that was basically a given right there. He's going to get something. Pretty good card. Probably a great catching as well. I think it might be it. Yeah, that's it for that. And now let me show you guys the elite cards. The uh, very elite cards. There's two limited time ones. Two limited time ones. No, there's only no, there's only one limited time one right now. But there will be more to come as a 92 Mike Evans strong safety will be coming out. So that is the other amazing safety that's coming out. It's got 92 zone coverage and like 89 speed. It's great, guys. He's going to be lit. Where is this man? There he is. You guys thought Braxton Miller was the only former quarterback for Ohio State to get a wide receiver turn quarterback card? No. Terrell Pryor gets a 93 overall limited time. I'm pissed it's limited time. I'm pissed it's limited time. Terrell Pryor, 93 overall. Two ankle breaker. Two. Guys, I will get this card too. I have to for my all, uh, my all Ohio State team. This is the happiest day of my life. A 93 Terrell Pryor quarterback card. 89 speed. He is a beast, guys. Check out these cards. 89 speed, 93 throw power, 90 short and mid, 86 throw, 90 throw on the run. He is a beast. And then, don't forget, he's got these chems, right? And wait a minute, what's his catching? 85! And he's carrying 79, guys. This is right now the best. This has to be the best quarterback in the game. The best quarterback, at least scrambling. The best quarterback in the game. Hands down. Hands fucking down. That's insane. I'm happy, guys. So we got two former quarterbacks from Ohio State. I don't think there's anything in the ultimate. There's not anything in the ultimate freeze yet. I don't know why. I'm guessing these are like the gifts after. Like whenever the gifts open, that's where they'll go. I mean, I'm assuming. That's a, It's all speculation, people. It is all speculation. But now I'm going to show you guys the ghost cards. And then after that, we'll open the packs. And then I'll just kind of go over what I like and what I don't like yet. And what needs to happen to make this the best promo it'll ever be. Because I still think Madden 15 has the best um, promo. But we'll see how this one ends. So here we have the ghost. There's the ghost of Madden past. The ghosts of Madden 
Future, uh, Ghost of Madden Present, and as you guys see, the Ghosts of Madden Future. So here we go. We got Jared Goff just right there. Got ourselves one of the future cards is a Leonard Floyd who plays for the Bears. He's got 87 speed. He's got you know, he's got pretty good stats. Right, 88 block shaking. I don't know what his. He's more of a 3-4 kind of guy. I want to see his like his uh, moves right here. 91 finesse moves. That's pretty lit. We're here. Jalen Ramsey, a beast, a beast future card. I do like this. 93 speed, 89 on man and zone, 92 press. 73 actually is a little bit bad, but that's all right. He's six one as well. And here's why I kind of wanted to happen. They have to have different sets for the past, the present, and the future, right? Because you could just get trash like this 90 Jared Goff. Like the future. Like you want to obviously want a pass card. They're the best. But, you know, I feel like they should do that. Something they need to change, but that's all right. I also don't like how the fucking, like, the future, and it's, like, blurred out. I hate that. Like, obviously, and put what Madden, like, obviously came up with Madden's season, but, like, put the Madden past. Put what Madden, they were really good at, like they used to do, guys. They really need to do that. But here's this Corey Coleman for the Browns. here, 92 speed. He should be a little more elusive, but 93 spec catch, though. Pretty good card right here. I mean, I like him. Jared Goff, I'm pretty sure he just got hurt in the game last night. A speed, though. Pretty good stats. Good, decent throw power, great throw mid, and then, you know, it's just kind of an all around round and card right there. Matt Stafford right here. And then the present cards, you know, they kind of get a little more blue. I do like the look at the future cards. They're, like, all white, you know, because, you know, they're the future and all that. This card's a beast right fucking here. I, I don't, like, um, he's a little bit, okay, he can scamper a little bit, but he throws, right? 77 speed, which is pretty decent. 95 throw power. I think that's the highest throw power in the game right now. 92 throw short. 93 mid and then 92 throw deep. Play action, I don't want to do that with him, but and then 84 throw around. But 92 throw deep with 95 throw power, that is pretty damn good. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've went over all the future cards, which I did. I went over one of the present cards. We're rolling down right here, guys. There's one of them, right? There's two of them, but one of them just got bought. This is a 92 Levante David, and he'll be a beast in 4 3 lineups, guys. 89 speed, only 75 strength, but he never has that good of strength. 88 block shank, 89 power move, like 93 tackle. He's a beast. Last year, obviously, you guys know he's a base elite legend. He got 75 catching. He's a beast. I just want to see. I'm curious. What is his his finesse move and power move? Yeah, only an 80. He's not. You know, he's better at 4-3 in coverage because he has great coverage stats. So there's one of them right there. We got Matt Stafford. Do -do -do. There we have. There's another one. Nadama can sue 93 overall. Another present one for the Dolphins. He got 76 feet, 92 block shedding. This is a beast of a card right here. 91 power moves. Nadama can sue is always a beast in this game. As you guys know that, we're going to try to find the last present. And we might find a future before a present. No, we don't. Here he is. There's a couple of them. Here's what we're trying to pull right here. Nine, you can pull these. Guys, remember, you can, guys can pull these cards in packs as well. Do not forget that. But here's the best present card, basically. 93, Adrian Peterson. Who, which is coming back. He's going to be coming back in the game, I'm pretty sure, this week, which is pretty cool. Also, AJ Green, not supposed to play in fantasy this week. Strike zone, you're going to beat me. God damn it. But he's got 91 speed, 92 trucking, 94 ball carry. He's got the elusiveness. He's great. The only thing Adrian Peterson does not have is carrying. Carrying. He cannot. He fumbles way too much. But, but, he does, the freeze offense does provide carrying for him. So if he can get one plus carrying, he's probably a little bit better. So, that's good. So the present cards, now we have our first pass card. I do like the pass cards. They're like the dark blue. I do not like the pass cards they chose. Plus, I don't like four. And I, I've never been a fan of the future and present cards. I like the pass cards. I'm old school. Madden 12 was my first ever Madden. My first ghost cards ever. I had an Adam Atari. I had a Dion. No, I had a Sante Samuel ghost card. It was my favorite card ever. And they were just so simple. It, had like a, it was the best, guys. Seriously. It was just amazing. But here's a Jeremy Shocker right here. First of them. 85 speed. Again, 93 throw in traffic. 82 run blocking. This is probably the, besides Gronk, probably the best tight end in the game right now. He is a freaking god. Three of these just fucking sold. But this is a card that's real nice right here. Got ourselves a 94 Marvin Harrison. Right here, a beast. Only got 91 speed, but 95 catching and 99 route running. Also, he's not that elusive, but you guys knew that. And, you know, Marvin Harrison's always a beast in this game. Right here, I forgot about this. They have limited time. Like, there's a 94 present card. With uh, this Justin Hughes right here is a beast with the jump to snap chemistry. 86 speed, 92 block, 91 power move. This is a beast card. So, I guess they're going to release, like, limited time. Let's see his power moves. Limited time ghost cards. I like that. 95 power moves. And they should go up in overall. So the next pass card we see should be a 95 overall because they're all 94s at the moment. And hopefully they go up. Like, because I don't know how I'm feeling about, like, 
the cards they have right now, but I do like the Justin Houston present card. I do enjoy that a lot. Here we go. We have a Javon Curse, a beast of a card. Look how cool this looks, guys. This looks like an amazing card. 85 speed again. He's as fast as Jeremy Shaw. Gets kind of funny. 94 finesse moves. 90 block shedding. He's a fucking goat, guys. And where is the best card? I think we went over all of them except the best. And obviously, he's going for the most expensive. One of the first ever ghost cards I've ever seen. And one of the ghost cards he's ever been. Champ Bailey. He's always been a ghost card. Except these ghost cards for a long time until they took him out. Look at these champions. This is the first time we've seen Champ Bailey back in the game. This is amazing. 92 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 94 man coverage, 94 dome coverage, 83 press was not that good, 92 player, 81 catching. Best corner in this damn game. This card is fucking amazing. All right, not, not the best corner in the game. I forgot about the master. <laughs> Second best corner in the game. Well, actually, no, it depends. It depends how much you value press. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Okay, so here we go, folks. This is what you all been waiting for, right? Fucking here, the Mastercard, the '96 Dion with the, and you see that prime? That is the prime time character. But first of all, let's look at Dion stats real quick. It's 95 speed, 95 speed, 96 Excel, 94 Jody, 96 man coverage, 94 zone coverage, 95 Flaric, 93 catching, 62 press, 60. To press. It depends how much you guys value press. If you guys really like pressing, I mean, that's depressing that he has really low press, but I understand why. If you guys like pressing cornerbacks, Dion's not for you. This this Dion, this Jerry Rice, even though he's got lower release, release will kill Dion. It's insane. And also, guys, how you get this Dion is you get the you get all those collectibles and then um the five ghost cards. So that's how you guys do that. It was actually really easy to do. They might actually change that side because it's really this card is really cheap. And also the prime time thing. So whenever you have this card, if you beat this or get this finish a set and then do the 95 wide receiver Dion, you can have both of them on the field. That's what the prime time chemistry does. You'll be able to have both the cornerback and the wide receiver Dion on the field, on the field time at the same time. You guys understand, like you know, you have both sides of the ball. That's insane. Look at the specs he gets. Look at those. That's insane, guys. This card probably hit, not hands down best card in the game. The press really hurts it, but if he had, like, good press, damn, this would be an amazing card. So that is all the cards right now. Let's open some of these, like, packs. I mean, I didn't have my welcome pack. I saved it all for you guys because I'm just a nice guy. You know, you guys you guys love me right here. Let's start with the I also have a Mart Rewards Frost pack, so I hope we get something lit. Let's start with the uh, free starter pack. Let's see what we get. What do we start out with? Obviously, we're going to get some tips. What are they going to give me? Oh, jeez. I got Tuck Roll. Can you sell these? Uh, no. So we got Tuck Roll right here. It's pretty good. That scared me. Ooh, we got a 95 Dion, or 85 Dion for the um, uh, Falcons. Yeah, I can see. I don't know why this is going to say. Actually, pretty good. 59 press. That's, that's trash. You guys do not want that. You really don't want that. That's bad. And in the gifts, guys, remember, you guys can get them this weekend and then the 25th only. And then the gifts will show up as, like, their pack, so we really don't know what they're going to be. Hopefully, we can get some speculation on the interwebs, you know, and we get to see what it is. So let's open some of these Frost Items packs. I think you can pull, like, cards out of this, too. It'd be pretty fire if we pulled, like, a uh, beast ass card. We got the Snowball right here. But I'm going to try to get as many presents as possible, guys. I'm just saying. Got the 08 NFC Divisional Playoff. Playoff. Hey, Celtics just won. Got another tuck roll. We don't want the same collectibles here. We want different ones. And another snowball. So we're getting the same collectibles. I'm pretty sure you can get players in this. So we got snow plow. And we got Thanksgiving classic. So we're getting new. We want different ones. So that's good. Uh, I'm going to open the out of position player pack. Who are we going to get? Give us Braxton Miller. Okay, okay. Sean Robinson. I don't know how much this goes for. I don't know whether to keep it or not. But it's fine. And now we're going to go on to the Frost Pack. Hopefully, we get something lit and a snowball right there. Tuck roll again. Okay. Come on. Give us give us a nice uh, freeze player here real quick. We want that. Okay. I don't know how many gold cards you get in this pack. Don't give us trash, EA. Be good to us. Be good to us. Okay. We got an Eric Reed out of position player. I'm pretty sure. I guess you get a gold player in there. I'm not sure. Just not a bad card right there. Okay, I think we need to get another collectible still. Okay, we got Ronka Blizzard and the last card. Okay, 
So I, as I guess you can see, you get a you get three golds, two golds. Oh my god, that is not very good. Two golds, and then like, well, I guess one of them is an out of position player. I have to check out the details, and then three of the collectibles, which I guess that's okay. So one thing we gotta change, we gotta change that pack. I don't, I'm not a really big fan of this pack. What's in this? Yeah, only two gold or better though. Oh, I feel about that, but the frozen items is where we want to be, really. That's how we're going to get our gifts, and I want gifts, so I'll probably, you know, still open these shits, but whatever. So the things I like right now, guys, I do like, like the objectives. They need to add, they need to add more solos. That's one thing. Must add more solos each day. They have to do that. If they don't, it's, it's a bust. You got to make it easy for everyone. It's Christmas, right? Everyone's got to be, be able to do it. So I, I guess I actually wasn't like supposed to get that opposition player. Hmm, not bad. But um, and yeah, I mean the ghost cards you gotta add, keep adding those limited time ones. I do like that. And then they're gonna add limited time out of position players. I do kind of like that, but it's going to be very hard to pull those players. But you know, it's not supposed to be easy. You're not supposed to have all the coins in the world. But uh, yeah, so I'm probably playing head to head, finishing the objective, guys. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's all the um, everything. The objectives. You know, we got our collectibles. I don't know if we can get a gift. I don't know how many I have. If we can get a quick-ass gift right here, we'll try. But I doubt we will. Oh, we have 11. Are you kidding? Oh, we have 10. All I have to do is play two objectives. But we have a bunch of different ones, though. What are these all going to again? Yeah, you get these ghosts. I probably won't get any ghosts. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this long video. I apologize in advance. It's probably like a half an hour video of me talking about the promo. You know how I feel about it right now. I, I give it a, an eight, an eight and a half, right? I like the cards. I like, I like everything so far. Hopefully, they keep me wanting to like this. The pack is, eh, but yeah, you get your items. So, I mean, it's, I guess it's all good in the end. So, if you haven't already, make sure you like and comment on this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the promo and I hope you guys like this, like, you know, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll be coming at you guys with another video real quick, just a quick Football Outsiders video and uh, right after this upload. So, this has been Ty signing off saying see you in a few, guys. Later.